Hi, in this lesson I will show you how to create an adaptive spring in Autodesk Inventor. Off we go. The first thing I'll do is place in some simple boxes I created earlier. So I have a standard power file. So my first one I will right click and place it grounded at the origin and place the second one just away from that. I need to constrain this together. So I'll constrain, use my flush constraint between there and there, and a flush constraint between there and there. Now normally you would have a mate constraint to join those two together, but we need to do something slightly different to this to allow us to create the adaptive spring. So I'll go into my 3D model tab, go into parameters, and I'll add in another parameter called mate. I'm going to make this 150mm. Press done. I can then constrain between there and there with that parameter. So that's going to be 150mm apart from there. So now we need to create our spring. Now this is done by using top down design. Or using the create tool so I'll press create and I'll call this spring one and I'm going to put this on the XY plane well this is the origin XY plane and I'll put another sketch on there as well I need to project my geometry with my two boxes and then draw a center line between the two. I need to dimension this now. Now when you dimension this you will get a driven dimension box. Now because that is the parameter that we put in before. So it actually doesn't need that as a, as a dimension. But you will use that later on to create the coil. So we'll accept that. I need to, now need to draw my circle. So I'll draw my circle there. And I'll give that a dimension between there and there, say a 50. And then we'll dimension that to be 5mm. Finish my sketch. We're now going to use the coil tool. So here's the coil tool here. So the first thing we need to do pick up a circle and then our axis. Go into coil size and we're going to use pitch and height. Sorry, revolution and height. So we're going to have 10 revolutions. But the height of this, what we're going to do is we're going to use this dimension that we put in earlier. You may have to switch the axes where that's going on there. So press OK. And there's my coil. Now it's not adaptive at the moment. You may want to, depending on what options you want. If I edit this coil, you may want to change the coil lens, so I'm going to change mine to flat. I'll press return to go back to my top level assembly and what I will do now is I will drive that mate parameter that I created earlier. So find the mate constraint, I'll then right click and say drive. So I'm going to drive this to say 75mm. To make this work what you need to do is press the more options button here and tell it to drive adaptivity. So when I press play now, as you can see, my spring will contract. So it's hitting at 82, so if I just change there, there to 83, 
Now, when I do this again, so if I turn off the visibility of me two boxes, I can still drive that constraint. But what I'll do now, I'll turn off my work planes. Drive the constraint. But when I've got the more options, make sure the driver activity is on. But I'm going to change this to start and end. I'm going to say I want three turns of this. So just to speed up things up, but it's up to 100. And what you'll find is that the spring will bounce up and down. You can obviously speed this up as well. So if I drive that, change my AVI rate, this is 30 frames per second. Change my steps. That will work 10. Press play on that. And now we've got a bounce and spring. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on creating an adaptive spring. Come back to the Symmetry YouTube channel for more tutorials. I hope to see you again. Thanks. Bye.